Thank you for the invitation from my side. And uh, the topic of the panel was well uh, represented in previous uh, panels. I heard yesterday ministers uh, of different portfolios talking about artificial intelligence. I heard um, Admiral Stavridis from um, the, the investment company uh, pitching about the priorities of NATO and how they should focus on artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. We are already working with them to increase the security posture around <coughs> vulnerabilities and asset management. So, I mean, Minister Papastergiou, in Greece, we are all aware of how, you know, successful we have been as a country in adopting this kind of new transformative technologies so that we get better citizen services, the applications mentioned. Uh, there was a very strong collaboration between the government and the private sector to allow this, let's say, uh, complexity to be moved out of the citizen so that the citizen feels very free uh, by using technology. My Health App is uh, one of the examples mentioned. Also, our businesses locally are doing pretty good. According to a recent study of um, the Federation of uh, our businesses, have, um, we have uh, done great steps to go close to the European average. We have uh, matured five times faster than the European average in terms of small business, let's say. So we are pretty good, right? And there is a big opportunity in front of us. AI opportunity, according to my Kinsey study, it will uh, unlock around 4.4 trillion of value annually just from one technology. And AI, you know, other generations have uh, already witnessed how technology transforms societies, like electricity, steam engine, uh, internet. The bet, this, this generation is around artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence will be the best, let's say, assistant of the humankind to become um, more free in order to focus on the high level capabilities of the human being. And AI will take away all the repetitive, boring tasks and will also solve, together with possibly quantum technology that is coming uh, very soon into our play again, um, solve complex problems that could not have solved in the past. Right, so my main point um, from today's session is that great power, of course, comes with great responsibility. So we need to be sure that we, as companies and as governments, we use the technology only for the good part of uh, the capabilities that it provides, and we isolate the bad use. And um, another point that I want to link with uh, Ivona's point about data, um, most of, let's say, the models that are currently represented in AI uh, public um, um, responsibilities is um, based on public internet data. And only a very few percentage of enterprise data is represented in these models. And we believe that the future of AI and the future of technology is open. We need to be sure that the models we use are transparent so that we can trust our most valuable asset as governments and enterprises to these base <coughs> models so that we can generate real competitive advantage out of the public data as well as our own, own data in order to be competitive. And um, Enrico Letta yesterday talked about the fifth pillar, let's say, of the single market, which was innovation. Right? In order to be innovative and really differentiate, we need to have AI that is trained on our data, but with models that are trusted and open. So I will rephrase, let's say, the topic of the discussion to a challenge. The challenge, I believe, for technology adoption transform transformation going forward is whether we will be able, as enterprises, as governments, to use technology as a value creator, or we'll just remain technology consumers.